All right, it's time to get the opinions of the best, objectively best podcast ever for anime trash days highlight. ReZero season two is amazing. Oh, is it now? Giga, tell me about it. So I'll tell you what else I've been watching recently. I've uh, been catching up to ReZero season two as well. Me too. This is like going back how many episodes ago where we're just like, we're going to get back to ReZero. <laughs> Here you go, fans. The we're getting of, we're getting back okay. to ReZero. Five episodes yeah. later. Yeah. The amount of memes that came out <laughs> of that. One Echidna. Can you see that? Echidna. Asna. Right? Maybe got a stage here for him? I'm not really sure, actually. Asna. <laughs> what the f- Mike Wazowski? Um, I don't know who's in the far right. No clue. I don't know who this girl is either. This is... Seemingly Megumin? Her eye patch? I think this is Megumin in a, in a scandalous outfit. And this girl reminds me of the goddess from Cautious Hero, but I don't think it's really her. This is one minute later. Don't fucking, in the internet, one minute is nothing. Yeah. Man, yeah. can I just laugh at something? Okay. Why is Garfield a big orange cat? Because <laughs> Garfield. Duh, it's, it's, it's the cat. It's everyone, everyone knows go for your lasagna. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I never thought about that before. He literally turns into a big orange cat. Yeah. Have you watched Zero Season 2? No, I haven't. No. So this one character Spoilers. called Garfield. Not Garfield, Garfield. 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 He, Garfield. No oh, yeah. D. And he turns into... A big orange cat. A big orange yes. cat. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> Probably hates Mondays. Yeah, <laughs> love lasagna. I just, yeah. I had to like pause it when this like, okay, spoilers for uh, uh, ReZero, uh, when he just starts murdering people. Right. This cat is just this fucking chunky Garfield. When yeah. he's murdering dying. people. And I was like, wow. Now I want to watch wow, this. this. Damn, what, what timeline <laughs> happened to Garfield where he died, bro? It's on a Monday, probably. I feel like you should. I mean, I feel like you should watch Free Zero Season 2 because oh, I, think, I think it's fucking amazing. Oh, it's great. Oh, yeah. no, no, I need to. Yeah, because I feel like. Have you seen Season 1? Yeah, of least? course. Glaze. Yeah, so I, I feel like we go going back to our conversation earlier. Season 1 set up the world really, really well. Oh, perfect. Mm. Yep. But then it, I knew it had the potential to go even further. And I feel mm. like Free Zero Season 2 is definitely hitting that potential. Yeah. Like, I don't think that we're getting all the answers and I don't think that we should be. In fact, he's right about how season one, the stage has been set. There are some answers, but there's a lot of questions. And in season two, we get to go a little bit more, you know, develop the characters in the world and get a little bit more of the mysteries, right? Witch factors, witches, archbishops, different timelines, what happened in the past, and a little bit more things are coming together. But the thing about ReZero, which I hate and love, is how you get an answer, but three more questions are derived off of that, which is, I think is good storytelling. It's like a layer of onion where the more you peel back, you're never really getting tired of it, nor are you running out. It's just getting better and better. Like yeah. one thing I really liked is how in like the first few episodes of season two, there were just no deaths. It was just building up mm. his character. Right, 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 right. Like with with what happened to Subaru in the first few mm. episodes, that was fucking genius. Oh, it's so good. Because mm. it, it managed to build up Subaru's character in a way that hadn't been like done before and really just explore who he is and why he acts the way he does. Right. Yeah, instead of having an Isekai main character that is just perfect, flawless, just does everything, right? You have a flawed character and you're questioning, why does he act like this? That's one of the definitely mis weirdest thing probably to an anime only when they first watch this show and Subaru just acts in a way that is very unfamiliar. There's some things that you can relate to maybe, but his actions just makes no sense until you really break down the show and think about where he's coming from. And also I hear that the anime, there's like a lack of the inner monologues that Subaru has, which is shown in the light novels or the web novels that really makes you understand why he's behaving the way he is. But in, sometimes in the anime, it just, to me, it's just like, he just does a random act of impulse and he's just screaming. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are we doing right now? Right. Yeah, because they, they built up this almost very childish mindset that he had. Exactly. That we yeah. often see in anime characters, mm. especially in Isekai. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then they kind of just deconstructed it in season two, which yeah, I thought right, was amazing. Right. Cause it's like, I hate this fucking incel. And then they're like- <laughs> Yeah, and there's a good reason to hate him. And that's the thing that people don't understand, right? Most average consumers will get filtered out of ReZero due to its great writing of the main character, where, yeah, you're supposed to hate Subaru at times, but people don't give him a chance or the author a chance to develop that character and then have him reach these all-time highs to just have growth. They just want this perfect static character to just always handle things perfectly, I guess. But to me, it's just like, 
That's the best part about ReZero. The fact that the author had the balls to show Subaru in such light in Season 1. But a lot of people straight up just hated it. They're like, nope, I don't want to watch this shit. I'm done. But it's like, man, you monkeys really don't know how to recognize greatness when it's offered to you. Here's the reason why he's yeah. an incel yeah. and why he's going to change. It's like, yeah. Oh, I respect oh, that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like that. Yeah, I've only, I've only heard the greatest things. Because yeah. yeah. season one, you know, when you saw people who were like, dude, I relate to Subaru. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> the fuck? I think I'm... No, I think a lot of people can relate to Subaru. This is what I'd say if you relate to Rudy as Great Rat or all the weird bullshit that he has up with. But Subaru is a, is a, is a man riddled with his sins, envy, wrath, you know, pride, all, all these different things that just like consumes a person to act in ways that you would never expect. The whole act of like being selfless, but it was actually selfish the entire time. It was simply an act trying to tell other people that I'm doing this for you, but it was all about him and having a realization and a growth, that's the beautiful part. Mention this in another episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's great because it's basically, they built that all up to be like, okay, now he's a shitty character and we're going to teach him why he needs to yeah, change. Yeah, right, exactly. Why, why those kind of behavior and I'm doing all this for Amelia is toxic. Yeah. You know? As it would be. As yeah. it's kind of fucking toxic. As it is toxic. Fucking simping for Amelia. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and like, you can try to like be a bigger man and say, I've never simped. I've never been angry. I've never been that. Like, I don't think I've, I don't know. There, there's a lot of shitty moments in my life that is not a one-to-one, -one, you know, comparison or even close to what, you know, Amelia and Subaru happened at the Royal Capital when, you know, basically he told her, like, you have a debt that you could never pay me back. That was truly, truly just some nasty shit. But despite all that, he's still a very relatable character. And it's really interesting. I, I didn't like it when I realized what they were first doing, but yeah. I, I started to enjoy it. So they're using the, the whole reset thing right. as a way to like... This is actually crazy how this is the first time and I found a couple of trash taste highlights where Connor usually doesn't say anything, but he's like breaking down ReZero in a way that just like makes sense. Like slowly build up this one kind of thing that they're stuck in right now. Right. Yeah. And I thought it was fucking annoying at first because I wanted them to leave the sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. And I really like how they've just slowly been building it up yeah. through the resets. Exactly. And you get a piece by piece and it, because it feels like almost like a murder mystery mm. where you're kind of getting little information mm. and yeah. it's just built it up really well. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just really into it right now and I'm, okay. I'm so hyped for it goes. Yeah, I have wow. no, no qualms with it right now. Like yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually way more into it than I was season one. Season, oh, yeah. one, season one, I very, very, very much enjoy. Actually, but... I do have a, uh, a thing that I don't like. Uh, mm. Where the fuck is Rem? <laughs> That's part of the story, baby. Sorry, man. She gone. Who is it? I want my bitch back, bro. She gone. I get it. She's just kind of gone. Yeah. But yeah. That's how basic she is, bro. Bro, we better get like a full blowjob scene. Who? Her back. Who? <laughs> I'ma say it. I'ma say it. <laughs> this is the fucking reason. This is the fucking reason that retards are still saying this fucking line eight years later. Who? <laughs> Who's Ram? I'm so funny. I made a joke and you're not. <laughs> who's Ram? Who's that blue haired girl? I'm say it. <laughs> Thomas gonna be like, who's that character Connor's talking yeah. about? Oh, who's I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Don't make me why, say it. Why would you still miss Ram when this perfect specimen of a of a beauty I can't get has over, been introduced I, to the show. I can't okay. get over My how God. that's just called a kid now. Like, I, 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 I thought, I thought people were joking. She four penis. Yeah, yeah, she second. A kid now. She Jerky. has four penis heads. Yeah, she has yeah. four penis heads. <laughs> she has four penis heads. <laughs> explain why that's the case, Jerry? <laughs> because there was a meme that I saw in the Sonic fan base. Of the, of oh, because Echidna is actually like a hedgehog something, right? It's like, always the Sonic fan base. It's always the Sonic base. fan base where they were like, Knuckles has four penis heads. And I was what? like, what? And then apparently if you go onto Wikipedia, you look up like an actual Echidna, like the animal yeah. that, so that Knuckles is based off. Yeah, this is Echidna. This is what the animal Echidna is. How does this relate to someone that's greedy for knowledge? Yeah, echidnas have four penis heads. Okay, I will admit, she's a top tier waifu. She's yeah. definitely pulling her weight. She, like, she's she like, broke. She broke Subaru down. Yeah, and right. And just, she, she like she, when she got introduced, she just fucking. I was like, there, there were some ReZero girls that I liked, and then there was Beatrice, and then she just came along and destroyed it, it, everybody. It's literally, it's literally that meme with the car drifting. It's like going straight and turning. It's like, it's like Amelia drifting to echidna. I don't know. I never felt that way for Echidna because I was also I was so cautious about her seemingly it's like we're able to tell her the truth and she's only the only few, few people that we can actually tell I can return by death and there's this beautiful moment and I'm the witch of greed Echidna yeah I know that episode was amazing cinematically but in the back of my head I was like this bitch a witch she's using us for 
knowledge and maybe there's some mutual benefit that we can get back but i've never believed her in one, <laughs> in one short episode yeah. i will admit it's tempting yeah but as a knight of rem <laughs> I, my loyalties <laughs> cannot be swayed god as a knight of rem bro he, he's role playing and he's like british right there's like whole fucking uh, knighthood and shit like that ingrained into the culture right damn it <laughs> you're not my queen this is literally, i'm like i was clowning earlier how people get serious about it and yeah, then yeah. i literally now do the same thing <laughs> i do not betray my queen <laughs> <laughs> he's very loyal to rem i wonder when rem will come back i feel like she could definitely come back as early as season three because like we're going into war and live biking toast is gonna be there who knows how it's gonna work out Maybe not the immediate attack arc, but if there's like a counter attack arc, which is going to happen like February 2025, maybe some point, or maybe it doesn't happen in arc five, maybe it happens in arc six, or maybe this never happens this season and we'll just see her as a sleeping beauty and she'll continue to collect paychecks. If I don't trust men who sway their simping, you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust men who sway in their simping. If you betray your waifu, you're weak. That's right. You as a man, you're no longer a man to me. Pick a, pick a wife and simp. God Slain damn it. wife is such a weak mindset. It's such a weak mindset. <laughs> you would be a terrible- What do you even like about Rem? What do you mean? Don't that's a good question. Oh, that's a very interesting question. I think that when a lot of people are proposed with the question, why do you like Rem? They don't actually know because this is a hot take coming. I think that the average Rem fan is a com it's a person that doesn't understand that character at all. They just see a convenient mate that'll be there for you no matter what, no matter how shitty you are, no matter how fucked up you are, no matter what kind of mistakes you are, even if you don't deserve her, they will be there for you, giving you this, this, uh, what's the word? What's that word for unconditional love, right? And they find that convenient and comforting, while at the same time, maybe there's some prospects of you being able to chase some other girl. Straight up, I think that's how the average watcher watching ReZero that's not truly understanding what these characters are about what they're supposed to be yep that that's that's what i think that's why i think a lot of people love rem so much they don't even know what that character is supposed to fucking be and they're just like yep it's just the ultimate made for my own convenience don't what, what, what do you like about question. rem she's like she's like crude rem, in a salad right rem, like yeah, that's, that's how that's i always see the it. best fucking part no that the crunchiest part that you can never you know you don't have to worry about the amount of dress rem is the crunchiest part of a salad Keep cooking. On them. All right, Rem, Rem never fails to just be there, right? Yeah. Like Rem's just there, man. Ooh. You know what I mean? And I she don't know, man. Rem Rem's came through. Hard. She murdered him. That's hot, first of all. Yeah, episode seven, she did murder us. Yes, that did happen. We just put that. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. All right. And then he finds it hot. He actually enjoys it. Okay. And then she she kind of, you know, she became a woo, you know? And I, right. I kind of opened yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> That's, That's kind of hot. This, That's it? You just want a bad bitch that can fuck you up and kill you? And then she went, ooh, ooh. I feel like he's just like a Theon today, but I don't think that's what Rem really is. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very struggling to remember. <laughs> <laughs> See, he doesn't know fucking why he loves Rem. A lot of people just bandwagon Rem, bro. <laughs> I just remember that she was loyal to death yeah. and it was very endearing. That's fair. How many times do we get waifus, right? Mm, that, yeah. that put their heart on the line like that. No, that's totally fair. Totally fair, she's definitely die hard for Subaru. And Gant's like, well, let me bring out the notebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me bring out the massive list of literally probably 90% of waifus out there I've in had, different ways. But I feel like those waifus, they they wanted to, to get the result. They wanted to be the chosen one. Whereas mm. Rem confessed knowing full well she was never going to be picked. Yeah, it was, that's true. Rem knew she would lose. I still don't think that a part of her completely for... Like, like, just gave up and thought that she was never going to get picked. I think a part of her definitely wanted to get picked, but she understood objectively that she's going to lose. And there's something I can respect about that. I don't know about that's... that one, man. Nah, like, yeah. I, I obviously haven't watched enough harem anime because that's like every other girl. Fuck, fuck yeah. Aside fuck from the main. Exactly. They, they, they say that's what they, they're like, I know you won't pick me, but it's like in the back of the head, they don't want to be picked. Now, nah, Rem totally did it. was just like, Chad, like, <laughs> yeah. I know you're not going to pick me, but I fucking love you. And that's yeah. okay, King. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lore wise, correct. <laughs> Shoulders up. That's right. <laughs> You're my hero, Subaru. I love you. I love Amelia. Fuck. Look at my shoulder pads. 
That's what I love about Ram, man. That's when that single time when she confessed, I'm like, all right. I don't know, I'm man. Didn't she I'm go off on like an entire sh Wow, that's actually very rare, huh? Like most people on episode 18, they just get so fucking mad, right? They're like, what the hell is this? Fuck Subaru. I can't believe Rem got done dirty. I, sh I quit this show, right? But Connor actually loved it. He's like, damn, respect for a girl that can go out to bat like that. And I think that truly shows a, a difference in mindset and a mental emotional maturity between people that are older, right? Versus like people that are younger. Like 14 year olds, like kids in high school, middle school, their brains have barely fucking developed. They have no idea what love really is, right? Older people, they mature, they have more life experiences. They understand that love is something that it's just not, you're not just entitled to. And I think it's just the difference mentality in like young group of people that think that like you are entitled to this because she sacrificed so much for Subaru. But and other people are like, you know what? She's not entitled, but I can respect, you know, her going out to bat like that feel of like how she wants like a family and stuff and like oh, how do you think i oh, fucking yeah. remember that and, and shit she's like i want three kids in a cottage <laughs> in the hills like I'm not, she? What the yeah. fuck? i think she I remember if greed route that's right that's that and that's another point where people literally use this example to justify why subaru rejecting rem is okay because again stupid kids the rejection of when subaru said to run away and the if greed route talking about the future family and, and like our future together, that clearly shows Rem did not reject Subaru there because she hates him. She completely loves him and then goes on to give this headcanon fan fiction of their imaginary family. How could you ever use that as an example to, you know, uh, uh, justify how super rejecting Rem was okay? Like, you're so stupid. Again, just children nip, just like grasping at the first thing that seems to kind of make sense in their minds. But if you thought for like 10 more seconds, you would realize that it makes no sense. Remember well, something like that? She was, she was pretty set in stone. Like, I mean, yeah, you're gonna pick me. I mean, there that, was definitely like a flash forward I mean, or something you, where she had kids with Subaru. Bro, we're just talking about season one content right now. We got fucking baited with ReZero season two is amazing. These motherfuckers said that Garfield's a cat. <laughs> Who's your favorite girl, Rem? Yeah. I mean, you can practice your pullout game then. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. <laughs> pull, and, <laughs> pull out and pray. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Right? If it like, fails, you can just reset. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, shit, I hope the checkpoint was over a month ago. <laughs> it's gonna be real awkward. And she comes back with like the results. You're like, <laughs> like, you're like you, you go back, your checkpoint, it's like two weeks. You're like, shit, she's still pregnant. Yeah. You're like, fuck, go back. <laughs> We're fucking awful people. I'm, so sure, awful. I'm sure there's a fucking dope. I don't know. Like, I can't remember. I'll be honest. I kind of, I cannot remember. Yeah, I mean, to me, but like, does does the king, does like all the knights know why they fight for the king? They're like, shit, why are we fighting? I don't know. I've just been doing it for like ten years. Oh, I guess <laughs> we should keep fighting. Yeah, but that's such a weak mindset. Yeah, that's, no, that's a, a weak, weak mindset, mind bro. No, a weak mindset is swaying with the wind, gone like you do, and you, Joey. I no, haven't no. swayed yet. I'm, I'm still for Beatrice. Basically, they're weak for swaying with their waifu picks to Connor. But Connor is weak because he doesn't even remember the fucking plot details of ReZero. I already know you're going to sway. I don't need to fucking... <laughs> All right, we'll see, we'll see, no, we'll see. Honestly, I was never like... Joey's I, literally that I, meme I, of the I, guy. I, ooh, like turning I, around. I, I, was, I was in the Beatrice camp because there was like... Because you like kids. <laughs> damn, you really just said it. God damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing it there, are we, Connor? She's We're like, bringing it there? I, I don't know what her canon okay. age is. I'll have to... Okay. I'll have to Canon age does not matter. You look at Biko, you're not gonna tell me that's a fucking child. You are just doing mental gymnastics. No, okay. your honor, that she was <laughs> like a- <t> <laughs> This is the problem, right? Let's say your waifu is Beatrice or fucking Shinobu, yeah. right? You go into the movies, right? Yeah. You turn up to the fucking restaurant. Uh, ta my child. Table for two. <laughs> this is my waifu down here. We're gonna yeah, yeah, she's gonna get a fucking kid's discount, bro. What's straight up? Seniors and children have discounts, so it is, how old is that kid? I'm gonna sit and hold hands. <laughs> come, come to the table. No, 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 no. I no, can't no. stand the I mean, that's literally how Subaru and Biku are now at the end of season two. They are just holding hands and she is very tiny. If they ever went to a restaurant, yeah, that would happen. Fucks, I'm gonna get at that restaurant. No, no. When, I, when I sit down with my fucking 10 year old He's at the table, and, and we're playing footsies, here's you know? The thing. Here's the, <laughs> all right, here's the thing. First of all, she's 890, but second of all, <laughs> Technically, she's 400. <laughs> yeah, a waiter. Oh, can she drink? <laughs> she's 890. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, but here's the thing is that like, at, at least my viewing of like my anime waifus is that yeah. I like them because they're not real. Do, do you want to- Okay. 
fiction, right? Yeah, anime waifus. You're in the realm of fiction. It, you want, you know, something that's not real. Okay, keep going. Wait, wait, you're, wait, you're wait, wrong, wait we've gone full. He's, he's, he's setting the base up, the logic, for something fucked up, I think. Keep going. She's so, not going. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we've gone full circle. I, I like them. Like, I don't want them to be real. Do you want a 10-page thesis on, yeah. wa on, on waifu can, theory? I can give you a 10-page thesis on waifu philosophy, okay? okay. Right now, like, I don't want my wa anime waifu to be real because it's it's the whole... It's going back to the whole maid cafe thing, where, I, where it's Why like... Why do you like kids, Jerry? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the whole it's going back to the whole maid cafe thing where it's like I like it because it's not real and the moment it becomes mm. real then you realize oh shit this is it's kind of like VTuber culture where if you don't see their real face you can always have this fantasy about them but the moment that that immersion is broken right you see what's behind the fucking curtains the great wizard of oz is actually not this great wizard it's it's kind of that thing right in, in the back of your mind it's just a fantasy right it's fiction and you don't want that to be broken for immersion it's not cool would you be happy with someone if they fucking murdered you in yeah. a past <laughs> life and you're like you know what i mean yeah he said that he likes he found it hot when rem kills subaru uh, you, you know we're, we're cool now yeah you're, you're, you're loyal to me now but you did fucking murder me that one time yeah. you did fucking like chop off my legs and I still don't think that this is a good argument because people quite often cherry pick this one moment to go against Rem, but completely ignore what happens in the next couple episodes as Subaru is literally cursed for all the witch fiends and Rem goes out of her way to sacrifice herself, putting her life on the line to kill everything in the forest. Like, people don't even remember that shit. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning and then all of the shit that happens throughout Arc 3, standing right by Subaru, like straight up. So many people just like ignore that part and use this as a talking point to justify why Rem sucks and Subaru re rejecting her made sense. Fucking beat me to death like three times yeah. or something. If it was, if it was hot. <laughs> 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 that, that's not like some people's kink, right? That, like it's like flatlining, but not coming back, right? <laughs> it's, it's just like just actually just, just fucking dying. Like, are we, are we gonna find you in like this <laughs> decrepit love people hotel gonna, one day? People are gonna think I'm into some weird. But I assure you, we're gonna very... rock up to your fucking like. <laughs> and we're gonna rock up. They're all fucking freaks. Don't lie to me. Up to your dead body, you're just gonna have yeah. the biggest smile on your <laughs> no, 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 no. face. You're gonna okay, be like died by it's, like it's, asphyxiation with like ten stab wounds, and you're gonna have like the I, biggest I, I, I unfortunately smile on your face. am. I unfortunately am pretty vanilla. Uh, but I yeah, love the idea of the kinks. That's what I don't understand it's, about people. It's the idea of these weird things that you could do that I never wanted. To Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got baited. There's twelve. There's sixteen more seconds. Lefty is still gonna talk about anything about season two. Here. But that's the thing, right? It's like, that, that's the thing. You don't want it to be real, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> but so you're okay with it not being real. That's that's how I see you're my You're okay with it, with losing. That's just yeah. my- That's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy that the title is ReZero Season 2 is amazing. And the extent of Season 2 content was them laughing about Garfield being a cat. And then Connor has some good takes about how Subaru being set up as a fucking idiot that we're supposed to hate, then giving more light into his backstory in Season 2. Which was like pretty much like the first like minute, and then the rest of it is like, what's your favorite waifu? Do you like kids? <laughs> it is what it is. Please go check out their channel. Here's the link. Sub to them if you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.